So in our last tutorial, I was showing you the beginnings of Ardor and uh, just how to import loops and do simple things like duplicate the loops, reverse the loops, stretch the loops, and fade uh, loops in or clips in. Uh, I'll show you how to do solo and mute and volume. Let's look a little more into um, the mixing part of it. If you hit Alt-M, it brings up your mixer window, or it should, Alt-M, there we go. And so here's each track, and you can choose the inputs and whether it records and volume and panning. So let's start looking into some of this stuff. Let's start at the bottom, actually, uh, or close to the bottom. I'm going to talk about this part right here. This is uh, your speaker track, so you can go left and right, and you can change whether that track goes uh, at a left speaker or right speaker more, depending on where you move these two lines. So that's your panning right there. Right here is your effects. So I'm going to choose the second track here, which is our bass track. It says so right up here at the top. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to add a new plugin. And you have plenty to pick from, depending on what you have installed on your system. Uh, and I'm just going to pick a, a simple one, a reverse delay. And basically, what this one does is it does a basically an echo, but it plays the echo backwards. So we've added that in, and you can double click it, and you have options on how it works. Make sure bypass is not clicked, because that just turns that effect off and you won't hear anything. So you have timing delay, and that's how long after a sound plays that it echoes back. So two seconds after it plays, approximately, it will uh, echo back, but reversed, because that's what this effect is. You have your dry and wet levels, you play with those so you get how it sounds, and then feedback is basically the volume of the echo you're getting back. So let me solo out this track, this is the bass track we're working with here, and I'm going to press play. And if you can hear that, you can hear the echo playing back. If I hit click bypass, You'll see you don't hear that reverse echo if I turn it back on. Hopefully that's coming in good through, uh, <laughs> you can see I stopped and it's still echoing it out a little bit. Um, hopefully you're hearing that well in this recording. If not, just play with it. There's plenty of effects. Uh, if you add effect you don't want, just right click it and hit delete. And if you right click and click clear, it will clear out all the effects you have in there. Um, so also you'll see that you have a volume bar here and you can see as I move it here it correlates over here to any of the tracks. Um, and then you also have mute and solo just like you do over here. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure this little uh, tr part right here you can add the plugins to and I think that's for as you're recording in you can add an effect live as you're recording in. Now, the way you record on a track is you select record, and you can see it's red. And you can see as I'm talking, by default it's set up to my microphone, and you can see the volume move as I talk. Um, but the way you change the input is you click input here, and you go edit, and you can remove what it's capturing, left and right channels here, click, click, that's left clicking, removes those. So now you can see it's not selecting the uh, microphone anymore. Um, you can see all these outputs here that I can input into the program are actually from Ardor. Let me quickly uh, open up another application that I've shown you in the past, ZYN Add Sub Effect. It's a synthesizer. And once it opens, we'll give it a second, there we go. Uh, let me close this and edit there. Now you can see you have the outputs from ZYN add sub effect here. So if I was to select those for each channel left and right, and now if I play something in this program, you can see it using that volume in that track. So let me actually do this again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off recording on that so it's not going to be recording that track. I'm going to choose this blank audio track I have here. <clears throat> edit, remove the microphone settings, add ZYN add sub effect, and press record.
either there or on that track over here. And as you see, I can play stuff on there. So now I can go back and if I press, if it's record light is red there, and I press record here, when I press play, it starts recording on that track. So now I can and I can stop there and you can see it recorded the audio from that track. I had the volume down kind of low on the ZYN add sub effects so it's kind of low. Of course we can increase the volume here but we can also increase the volume in ZYN add sub effect with our volume levels and our Vitmaster volume levels if we need to. So now uh, I'm going to just solo out these two tracks and press play. As long as record is not set here, it's not going to record anything. But if you're done recording, you can also turn off record there so you don't accidentally record over something. Not that you can't get back, you can always undo. And you'll also notice off to the right, it adds all your little loops over here. We can press play. So you see, I recorded from another program. And what's allowing us to do that is the Jack D that I keep talking about. You can see here that they are connected. Um, if I go here, you can also connect different devices. I never really see anything under the MIDI input and outputs, even when my MIDI keyboard's set up, it shows up over here. But you can see how things are connected. You can disconnect and connect things over here, but our door lets you do that as I showed you in their mixer. So that's how you can record stuff from other applications using Jack D and Ardor and um, you know if you have a real instrument, a guitar or something, you can hook that up into your computer and record tracks uh, and you can also set a metronome to be recording while uh, you're, you're recording on the playback. In fact, if I do this, oh let's do solo here, no it doesn't, uh, somewhere there's a metronome option that will add a metronome in there. Here we go, metronome. Uh, or no, that's meter fall off. Probably should look that up before I did the tutorial. But there is a metronome somewhere in all these options. And I'll show that in a future video, hopefully. So you can keep time while you're recording. Anyway, that was just a quick look at the mixer, which once again, if it's not already open, you can either go up to window and find the uh, mixer window. Uh, or you can just press Alt M, which opens it and closes it. Oh, that's Control M. Alt M. There we go. And uh, so that's a little more of a look at Ardor. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. For more videos like this, visit filmsbychris.com. The link is in the description.